system reactivated. Hey everyone, this is Wrecker. Welcome back to another build video. So the one that I'm sharing with you guys today is a protection from elites group build. So the main goal for this build is to stay alive. Even if the whole team goes down, you stay alive and pick them up. And uh, regardless the difficulty, legendary, heroic, or any amount of directives, this build has the survivability to retain any difficulty at all but also to buff your teammates while at it. So uh, that's basically the goal for this. And I have also made sure like any other of my builds to have enough red attributes, critical hit chance and damage uh, to be as high as possible. Uh, of course, we won't be killing any enemies primarily for this build. It's just to support your teammates to uh, do more damage and stay alive as long as possible uh, But if you need to you will have enough damage to kill enemies yourself Because I have made sure that we have enough critical hit chance and damage to do that yourself So with that out of the way, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's begin Okay, starting off with the specialization. I'm using the survivalist uh, three main reasons uh, that go primarily very good with our build is that one you get 10% protection from elites uh, Second we get 10% additional damage to our teammates on any uh, Status affected enemies because yes, we will be putting on status effects on all our enemies as well because we are using a Scorpio so that's the second reason the third reason is the armor kit uh, as long as your teammates are within 20 meters range if you apply an armor kit to yourself it will be applied to your teammates as well so these are the three reasons uh, that i'm using survivalist for so moving on okay so starting off with the weapons primarily i'm using scorpio two main reasons is to put on as much as status effects on enemies so our teammates could get boosted for 10 percent additional weapon damage but also uh, is that because I am using a talent on my backpack that requires a shotgun to be active uh, which I will show you in a bit so that's the reason for running Scorpio as a primary for the secondary I'm using a police M4 uh, again fully ranked up 23% weapon damage by the way my Scorpio as well is fully ranked up to 23 proficiency rank and that's why you're seeing 23% additional weapon damage on it uh, but for both the weapons you will have maxed out critical hit chance and damage So if you need to you can take out enemies yourself as I said in the intro So these are the two weapons that I'm running As for the sidearm, it doesn't really matter because 90% of the time we will be running Scorpio uh, We really don't need to use our sidearm, but if you want to I would recommend running finisher because that's a really good talent to boost your critical hit chance and damage real quick. Okay, so starting off with the gear pieces. The first piece that I'm running is an exotic mask, Tharsis, uh, which basically gives you all blues, that's armor as a core attribute. Then we have 20% incoming repairs, armor regen, and then I have slotted in a 13% protection from elites mod. By the way, on all six pieces, we have to run protection from elites mod doesn't matter what percentage the cap for the protection from elites attribute is 80 percent so we have to make sure we get as high as possible to reach that cap so we could be uh you know uh, fully secure from any elites uh, that we come across but moving on the talent that it comes with is called vicious cycle taking damage build stacks up to a 30 each stack grants you one percent weapon damage Taking damage, a max stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects, and then dropping a healing cloud, which restores 5% of max armor for 10 seconds to all allies in the cloud. So basically, it not only gives you 1% uh, weapon damage on each stack for yourself, but also when you're getting hit, which you will be 90% of the time because you're basically tanking all the damage for your teammates, uh, you will be gaining stacks as well by getting hits 
So at full stacks, there will be a cloud of healing that you can stay in, but also your teammates, they can heal from that cloud as well. So that's really good. And lastly, if you have any status effects on you uh, from the enemies, they will be removed as well when the stack cap happens. So that's a really good mask that I would highly recommend running on this build because it synergizes very well with all the other pieces we are running and what we are trying to accomplish with this setup. So moving on. Okay, so for the backpack, I'm running the named Uzina Getika backpack. It's called the setup. It comes with a blue armor core attribute, uh, but you have to make sure you do have two reds on it. In my case, that's crit chance and could hit damage. And on the mod slot, I have slotted 13% protection from elites. Now as a brand bonus, it gives you 5% total armor. And the talent itself, it's a perfectly opportunistic. Enemies you hit take 15% more damage from all sources for 5 seconds. Now it doesn't have any cooldown, so as long as you are hitting the enemies over and over, it keeps refreshing. So it doesn't go out as long as you're shooting them. But it does have a requirement which says using marksmen or shotgun weapons only. So that doesn't affect us at all because we are running Scorpio as our primary weapon. So that synergizes very well with this particular setting being active all the time. So I would highly recommend running this backpack uh, for this setup. Now for the chest piece, uh, I went for Zero's F. That's another named piece from Badger Tough. Uh, basically because as you know, as we are running primarily the Scorpio, it gives our band bonus for a 10% shotgun damage. Comes with the core attribute of armor, then we have two reds as other pieces, crit chance, crit damage, and then we have a mod for 13% protection from elites. The talent which it comes with is a perfect talent, perfectly unbreakable. When your armor is depleted, it repairs 100% of your armor. Cooldown is 55 seconds. Now it was broken recently, but they did fix it, so now it's working properly. So I would highly recommend running this uh, because uh, you won't really need it because we have enough armor and enough protection from elites that it's very rare that our armor goes out. But since we are trying to survive the hardest hitting enemies and uh, you know uh, trying to stay alive as much as possible, that's the only reason I'm running it. In case I need to, if you get in a sticky situation, this will save you. Of course, but if you want to run some other talent, uh, maybe to give bonus armor, maybe you can vanguard to your teammates, that's personal preference, you can run that as well. Now for all the three other pieces, the remaining pieces on the build, I'm running three improvised gear pieces. Uh, in case you do not know, you can craft it from the crafting bench, it does not drop in the open world, so you have to craft it. It's not very expensive, it's very cheap as long as the, uh, as far as the materials go. So it's really easy to make, but you would have to make sure that you are getting armor core as a core attribute and two reds, critical hit chance and damage, uh, so that you could have the same numbers as I do in this setup. So uh, one more thing in case you do not know, all improvised gear pieces come with a mod slot, so you can put in mods in there. So. Uh, as you can see, we're running armor, two reds, crit chance, crit damage, and a mod for 13% protection from elites. Same thing for the knee pads. Uh, core attribute armor, two reds, crit damage, crit chance, and then a mod with 12% protection from elites. Lastly, same thing for the holster. Armor, crit chance, crit damage, and 12% protection from elites. Okay, so for the skills, I'm running primarily a crusader shield. Now again, if we have enough armor and survivability from the elites that we won't need it, but if we need to, it's a really good shield because since we have all six blues on uh, our build, it does rank up with blues as well. As you can see, we have a tier six shield. So that's really good. We have additional 60% active regen plus 250% shield health, and then we have an additional 40% holster regen. So that's really good. The shield is very, very tanky. So if you need to, let's say for example, in front of the hunters, yes, a hunter is an elite as well, but if he melees you, he can take away a really good chunk of your armor. Like, yes, you will see in the gameplay as well, he does melee me, 
and then takes out around 80% of my armor. But that's why we have the shield. If the shield is in front of you, that's really hard to take down for a hunter as well. So that's really good. But also, let's say you're facing a red bar or a purple bar. Uh, since this is a protection from elites oriented setup, they will hit you hard. Even though we have around 2 million armor, they can still kill you. So a shield in front of you is really good to have to uh, suppress that damage as much as possible. For the second skill, you can use whatever you like. I'm personally running Jammer because I mostly use in a group play and to disrupt enemies as much as possible is really good. But that's personal preference. If you want to run anything else, you can do that as well. Now moving on to the stats for the build, uh, even though it's a very blue, uh, you know, tank build, if you say so, but still, as I said earlier, I have made sure we have enough attributes, the red ones, uh, to output as much damage as possible as well. So as you can see, on the Scorpio, we have 50% critical hit chance and 115% critical hit damage. 65% headshot damage, 12% armor damage. Now these are really good numbers uh, considering that we are running a tank blue build. So these are really good numbers for that. But even if we switch to our secondary, our police M4, same thing, 50% crit chance and 110% critical hit damage, 75% headshot damage, 21% health damage, and then of course, the 10% damage drug us out of cover, which isn't stated here. So that's really good. Now, moving on to the blue, uh, I'm sorry, defensive tabs. As you can see, we are over 1.9 million armor. And then we have 20% incoming repairs. That's really good. That's what we're getting from the catharsis mask. So when you get in the cloud, you will get 20% uh, additional heals. Now, this 80% protection from elites, as I said earlier, we are perfectly at 80%. That's the cap for protection from elites. Anything higher than this doesn't matter. So as long as you have 80% or really close to 80% uh, when it comes to protection from elites, you're good to go. So these are the stats for this build. Okay, so this is the build everyone. Uh, as a primary, we are running Scorpio, secondary police M4 and then we are running the Catharsis Exotic Mask, the Ozina Getica named backpack with uh, perfectly opportunistic. Uh, this backpack is called the Setup, in case you guys don't know. Uh, then we have the named chest piece from uh, Badger Tough. Uh, it's called Zero Zaf, which comes with perfectly unbreakable. And then we have three pieces of improvised gear to get Armor core, crit chance, crit damage, but also mod slots from, uh, for protection from elites. So if you have any questions for this build, let me know in the comment sections below. I will answer them as fast as possible. And as usual, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the gameplay.
Ground hostiles detected. System reactivated. Engaging enemy. 